Did the library receive the bonus last year? Well, I think I'll start with statement one in this case. We're told there that the library purchased 50 books per month. So over a period of 12 months, that's uh, 600 books at an average cost of $28 per book. We actually need to compute just to see, is that more than $15,000? Because if it's not more than $15,000, then this is not sufficient. Right? We, we wanted to know, did they receive the bonus? And I'd say, well, I don't know if they received the bonus because they spent under $15,000, so they may or may not have received the bonus. So is 600 times 28 greater than $15,000? That's, that's really what this question comes down to. And the way I would do that is uh, 600 times 30, so I'm overshooting it a little bit, and then subtract out uh, 600 twice, because I, I counted too, too many 600s. Uh, so 600 times 30 is 18,000. Taking away 600 twice, that brings me down to 16,800, which is clearly more than 15,000. So it turns out statement one is sufficient on its own. Let's go ahead and evaluate statement two right after the intro. So with statement two, we know that on the uh, slowest month, we had 459 books checked out, and we know that we get the bonus if at least 5,000 books were checked out over the course of the year. So with a minimum value of 459 times 12, because of 12 months in a year, does that get us over 5,000? Now we do have to do the math because if it's less than 5,000, then this is not sufficient. Because sure, the slowest month was 459, but maybe the busiest month was a million. So it's possible still to get over 5,000, but if all of the months were 459, and if the math turns out to be less than 5,000, then uh, they wouldn't get the bonus. So we actually do have to do the math here, unfortunately, a lot of times in data sufficiency, we don't have to do all the math, but in this case, we do. So is 459 multiplied by 12, is that greater than 5,000, yes or no? Um, so I know 400 times 12 already brings me pretty close to 5,000, right? That would be uh, 4,800. We still have another 59 times 12. Would that more than cover the missing 200 there? It absolutely would. So. I don't have to do the full math, I just have to convince myself that 459 times 12 is more than 5,000, and therefore uh, the statement is also sufficient on its own, and the correct answer is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.